In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can load the shoulders, create more power, but more importantly, be able to control the backswing and the transition. Probably the key most important area in the golf swing is how you transition from the way the club goes up into the backswing to how it comes down into the downswing. The majority of golfers that I coach online really struggle with this area. A lot of players actually reach out to me and say, how do I improve my transition? Now, the important thing here is how do you get to the top? How do you, you can't improve a transition if the positioning at the top is not in a good place already. If I've got a student maybe in this position, the transition's almost irrelevant because you're in a poor position to start with. So that's just an example. So it's really important that we actually build the backswing correctly, get you into the right place so the transition will get better. So we're gonna be talking all about how to load the shoulders. Loading the shoulders means that we're able to get the club up into a really powerful position whereby really the only, one, the only way down is to come down into a really perfect delivery position. Now, a lot of players get into like a really awkward place where the club comes behind the body to start with. And when you go behind the body and you work up the back or up the spine angle, my shoulders are not really loaded. Now, probably a question you might ask right now is, what does a loaded shoulder feel like? Well, it feels quite tight, it feels quite stressed. And I mean that in a really good way, it feels powerful. I think whenever you've got some sort of tension in your body, that's a powerful feeling to have, okay? So this drill is amazing, okay? What we're gonna do, for, so for right-handed golfers, you're gonna go left-handed, you're gonna go cack-handed here, left hand below right. So we're gonna get into the grip position. You can baseball it however you want to do it. Just try and make it feel like it's relatively comfortable. And we're gonna work this swing up to the top from here. Now, what you're gonna be able to notice is it's a lot harder to get the club on the inside. So this is actually a really good drill for your takeaway as well. But it's very difficult to get the club going on the inside because this right elbow is gonna start pointing out and the wrist is gonna bend in an awkward position. And we end up here and let's be fair, that's gonna feel automatically worse than ever you're not going to then from here just lift the club up out there as well because again it feels it feels wrong it feels strange with the way the hands start to hinge up and the arms get away from the body so the reason why we do this cat handy drill is because as we start to rotate away the wrists automatically start to hinge the club so once once they do that the golf club is now in a position from here where i can just load it up to the top of the backswing when I have this loaded shoulder feeling, I can feel it in my lead shoulder and I can feel it in my trail shoulder. So I feel really loaded up the top of the back. So I, can I can really feel it here. And when I've got that buildup of energy, that buildup of power, anytime you're releasing that energy and that power, it will generally deliver more speed, but also more importantly with your irons in particular is delivering that compression, delivering that kind of full face strike down into the goal, that's what we want. We want that beautiful compression, okay? So if I get to the, if I take my setup here, I'm gonna get myself up to the top of the backswing, we're going cat handed Now, the way I wanna feel here, as I've already mentioned, I've got the feeling of my, my lead shoulder is loaded, but just down the trail arm, so just down the right arm, one of the, the bit of feedback I often give is trying to see that this right arm is almost vertical relative to the ground. So I don't want the elbow out. I don't want the elbow behind my body. I want the elbow in front of my rib cage and almost vertical. Again, that's how I get this sensation that I'm loading this trail shoulder as well. So as I take this club away, I rotate and I get it to there. And the fact you can hear me straining a little bit is a good sign. It means I am I'm in a powerful position. Now, when I get this transition from here, it's just going to work back down into there. So we're going to be able just to work the club back down. And then the only way you're going to really strike a golf ball or have control of the golf shot, the direction, the strike, is if your delivery position is really, really good. So often when I'm coaching, we have to work back. So if you come to me with an impact issue, a transition issue, you'll be amazed that we'll start so much closer to the takeaway and how you build up to the top of the backswing because everything that really goes wrong in the downswing is a consequence of what's possibly or probably gone wrong in the backswing and that's a really really key importance for every golfer to understand i had a 
I had, a, I had a student come to me from, he's in South Africa, really struggled with his transition. We worked on takeaway in the first lesson. He's like, well, do we not work on transition? So you have to get into the right position to produce the correct transition. But there's no point correcting a position if it's not very good to improve your transition. Okay, so really important. This is a superb drill for feel. You can really get a sense, even if you're at home, you don't need to hit golf balls. You're just working that golf club up. I would often try and feel that the trail forearm is vertical. The angle between the forearms is approximately 45 degrees as well. Okay, so again, we've got the trail elbow in front of the rib cage. We've got the, the 45 degree angle here. And that's how we're going to be able to release this golf club into the ball. Now, I'm not going to hit golf balls like that. But I get that sensation. I'm able to get that feeling. Get up to the top. Feel the set. Try and, try and create, recreate that same feeling. Try and recreate what it, that feeling in, my, in the loading of my shoulders. If I can recreate that feeling, I should deliver the golf club quite nicely. Just like that. Oh, pure fairways, pure golf course. Pure six iron onto the green. That was nice to be fair. Okay, so really good drill you can kind of adapt this onto now. And you can actually hit golf balls like this. I'd probably say use a tee to start with. The outcome of the shot is not massively important, but the feeling and giving you under the understanding is the key here. So we're gonna go into that cat handed drill. We're gonna bring the club back to the top of the back, so we're gonna pause it. You're going to make sure you feel the, the, the tension in both shoulders, the forearm position pointing down. And all we're going to do now, we're just going to change the grip over. So we're in the same position, okay? I've moved the position, but I can still get the same loaded feeling. My right forearm is still in the same place. My shoulders are still loaded. I could come down and just hit that ball away off a tee. And what that's helping you do is helping you, it's basically putting you into the position you need to be in. Then get you back into your normal grip and then just come down and tap it away literally tap it away because i know what everyone's like you get to the top and you must be thinking i'm in a great position now i'm going to absolutely bomb this no need okay what we're trying to do is get the understanding of what this feels like transfer it into a normal grip and then just tap it away the more you can understand the feelings the more repeatable it's going to be. The most thing about the most important thing about the golf swing is consistent. Everyone's got a different golf swing. No one has the same swing. But what we all need to do is have a consistent movement pattern to repeat it as often as possible. Right, one more, one more ripper for the video. Winds off the left, tenth hole out of the earth course. They literally had what day is it today? It's, it's Tuesday. Two days ago, Nicholas Hoygaard won the DP World Tour Championship. Two days later. We're doing a golf tip on the 10th fairway. What a life, what a world to be in. Right, 10th hole, six iron into the green. It's all over the flag. Wind's grabbed it a little bit though, actually. So there was a slight lie. It's on the back right portion of the green, three putt territory, but hey, you know what? I loaded the shoulders. I worked the club down nicely. I compressed it, got a really, really nice center strike. I am happy. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Loads more content to come from what used to be my home, but it's not anymore. Guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.